Hello, this is Tom. Um, I am going to try to demo one of the larger um, software projects I've done. Um, and I'm doing this by video instead of by trying to send out the code because I assume it'll be um, tough enough to get this to compile on your machine that it just won't be worth the trouble. Um, it's, it includes some, some custom libraries that I've downloaded and that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, so the reason I created this piece of software was that I was involved in some research looking at um, simple robot behavior and that research is maybe too complicated to get into right now but what we would do is um, film a robot in an, in an arena for um, some time and then extract images from the video that we took um, and those images actually look like this and so you can see the course of an experiment going like this um, and the issue that I had was initially when we were analyzing these videos we would have to go through or someone would, somebody would have to go through and um, count each one of these blocks looking for clusters of blocks you can see as the experiment progresses that the robot slowly pushes the blocks into clusters and that's what we're looking at so the project that I decided to work on was automating this process and to do that what I, we need to do is um, register the image. As you can see right now it's trapezoidal in shape whereas this arena is actually a rectangle. So we register the image to correct that um, and then run some detection algorithms to, to pick out the blocks and once I've done that um, I need to actually find the clusters in the blocks. So this directory here contains the project and what I have are basically two programs uh, reg intensity does the registration and does some intensity um, correction for light intensity and as you can see it's quite a mouthful do, 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 do. and the second program I have is cluster tracker and once I have a list of um, the locations of all the cubes cluster tracker comes through and um, calculates the number of clusters I have and their locations and it's a bit shorter but still quite a mouthful so what I'll do is pull up my terminal here um, and just compile these two things now in my images directory here I've just pulled in four images the first one is a background image and the next three are images of an experiment the background image is there um, so that we can do some intensity correction. Now I've attempted to make this whole process a bit easier by writing um, two shell scripts. This is regdir um, and it pulls out a bunch of variables and information to feed to the, the programs and it tries to make things as user-friendly as possible. Uh, the second one is tracker which does the same thing for the, um, the cluster tracker program but um, it's actually currently being called by register so it's not we don't actually interact with it at all now the first step would normally be um, to go into a program that I use called um, image J here and uh, pull out the corners of the arena because we need to know where the boundaries are um, but to save the trouble of installing image J on your machine I've, I'm just going to skip that so I've got the coordinates of the corners of the arena here. These are just pixel values. So to start off we will run regter and it'll ask us if this number one is the background image which it is so we'll say yes. It'll go through and register the images. And that was pretty easy. As you can see it creates an output directory and if we go look in here, we have the processed images, which are just the arena, and the arena is now rectangular. Oops. Now, uh, the next step, again, requires image J, so I've skipped it, and um, image J will threshold it and will pull out. In image one, we have um, all these different cubes. And it'll, it does this for each image. Um, and the next step is to run uh, tracker on this cube locations 
file, which gives us, um, which goes and finds the clusters for us. And this is the output of that. So you can see here we have, in image one, we, there are 20 cubes. Um, and none of them are in clusters. And things progress as we go along. We get one cluster in the second image and uh, two clusters in the third image. And of course, this would look much more impressive on a an actual full-size experiment. But um, yeah, that in a nutshell is how this works. Um, if you'd like a copy of the code, just let me know. I've got this all tired up and ready to go. Uh, but yeah, thanks for your interest.